Again, we have Frost and many of the Lost Cruises. Fire department and rescue trucks. Again, I ask if you all have social media that you're afraid from using. Now we begin this evening's newscast with some breaking news. That video you just saw was a plane going down and crashing at the second annual Air and Space Expo out at the Las Cruces International Airport. Now we do have a crew at the scene. CBS4 at 530's Eileen Herrera has been working to gather information. She's live out at the airport with what we know so far. Eileen. Ariana, as you mentioned, that plane crashed during today's air show and it happened just a few hours ago around 2.30 p.m. Now information is limited at this time, but right now you can see the area is clear with only law enforcement here cleaning up the area and vendors were asked to leave as well as people. But you can see crews are still investigating near where that crash happened. Officials with the Las Cruces Airport telling us the New Mexico State Police will investigate the incident. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this video again. You can see a single person aircraft drifting through the sky before quickly falling and ultimately crashing. We have frozen that part of the video right before the plane hits the floor. Currently officials have not released any information on whether or this crash was deadly or the status of the performer or pilot but during a very short news conference officials stated that they are giving the family time to arrive in las cruces the show was quickly suspended following the crash our crews were told the national transportation safety board and the federal aviation administration are on their way the end TSB telling us the preliminary information they have is that the plane hit the ground one mile west of the Las Cruces International Airport while performing aerial stunts at the show. They said that their investigation will include anything that might have to gone wrong with the flight. The investigators will look at three main factors such as the pilot, the aircraft and the environment. Once we're able to release more information, we will be able to inform the media and the public. Now the NTSB is asking for any witnesses that might have any footage of the crash to send it over to them to help with their investigation. We'll have details on how you can make contact with them over on our website and we will keep you updated as officials release more information on today's incident. I'm reporting live in Las Cruces today, Eileen Herrera, CBS4, FX30. Today we are learning more about a deadly plane crash that happened at the Las Cruces Air and Space Expo over the weekend. The pilot who was killed in yesterday's crash has been identified as Charles Thomas Coleman. Now during today's city council meeting in Las Cruces, officials called for a moment of silence to honor Coleman. Unfortunately, also, we had a tragic ending at our Air and Space Expo this weekend. Uh, there was an aircraft accident during Sunday's performance that resulted in the death of pilot Charles T. Chuck Coleman. So Coleman was considered a highly skilled and experienced acrobatic pilot. An old colleague and friend says he'll be missed. We spent a whole lot of time together. Uh, I can't even count how many hours we spent in the air together. I absolutely loved working with Chuck. He was loved and respected by many and had an enormous friend group, and he's going to be very, very sorely missed. So Coleman had a long list of accomplishments, including being a flight instructor for actors in the 2022 movie Top Gun Maverick. Unfortunately, also, we had a tragic ending at our Air and Space Expo this weekend. Uh, there was an aircraft accident during Sunday's performance that resulted in the death of pilot Charles T. Chuck Coleman. Well, we are learning more today about the highly experienced pilot who died in a crash during the Las Cruces Air Show. CBS4 at 10's Arena Bada was out there earlier today and she learned more about the investigation into Chuck Coleman's death and shares one man's story of being mentored by the world-class stunt pilot. 
Well, today we are learning that Chuck Coleman was the pilot who died during yesterday's air show here at the Las Cruces International Airport. Today I was able to talk to a colleague and friend of Chuck's who says that he will be missed not only by the aviation community, but by all who enjoyed entertainment. He was one of the most skilled pilots out there. And I think what this loss represents is, is really the loss of a mentor, the loss of a friend. Christopher Van Pelt met Chuck Coleman back in 2010. The two worked together in California and have been friends ever since. We spent a whole lot of time together. Uh, I can't even count how many hours we spent in the air together. Coleman died unexpectedly Sunday afternoon while performing at a Las Cruces Air and Space Expo. I heard the news yesterday from a friend who is a fellow pilot. Coleman speaking briefly about his excitement for the show just two days before the crash. And it's going to be a great event with this. Look at the, the sky you have here in New Mexico. Just spectacular type of thing. You know, it's hard to articulate. He was very skilled and also very talented. Um, but, you know, when you're riding the razor's edge, this sort of thing can happen no matter how good you are. Now Van Pelt says he's remembering Coleman not only as a great pilot. Flying for him was every single day. He was very polished. But the type of person he was. The quality of Chuck that stands out the most was just how generous he was with the resources that he had. That among his impressive list of accolades. His resume was, you know, like the, the height of the size of my body, pretty much. He got to work on a just a ton of fascinating things. One of the most memorable, being recruited to be a flight instructor for actors like Miles Teller in the movie Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, that was something that he really got a kick out of, just giving them really their first experience before they went off to, to film the movie. Van Pelt, along with many others, remembering Coleman's legacy, he now leaves behind. He was loved and respected by many and had an enormous friend group, and he's going to be very, very sorely missed. Well, the Las Cruces International Airport will remain closed while the National Transportation Safety Board, along with the Federal Aviation Administration, continue their investigation of this crash. For now, reporting in Las Cruces, I'm Ariana Barra.